Oh, we were rolling this whole time. Interesting. Hey guys, it's Girl Fun. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are just going to be going through really quickly my Sephora holiday saving sale wish list. That was a mouthful. But yeah, I I always look forward to this time of year. Ever since I started shopping at Sephora, I've always started looking forward to this time of year. And why is that? If you don't know, every year around this time of year, Sephora has a holiday savings event where you get to save money depending on what status you are at. So if you are a basic beauty and that might sound that sounds bad, but if you are a beauty insider, you get to save 10%. If you are VIB, you get to save 15%. And if you are VIB Rouge, you get to save 20%. And guess who is VIB Rouge? But that's gonna end this year because I definitely have not made the quota to carry my rouge status into next day and I'm not spending $790 between now and the end of the year to do so. So I'm gonna make the most of it this time around. So this video should be pretty quick. I'm just gonna pull it up on my phone and you guys will get to see it as we go along. Okay, all right, so let's get into, you see at the top here, rouge, spread some holiday chair. Oh. Well, maybe we can do a giveaway in this video. Okay, let's do a giveaway in this video. All right, I'll figure out the terms by the end of the video. So as you can see, I have 11 things in my cart. So let's get into that really quickly. So the first thing we see in my cart is the Refi Glow and Sculpt Face Serum Primer with niacinamide. Now, I love niacinamide. My skin loves niacinamide. This is one of those purchases that you just want to try it because you saw one person try it or use it. So I saw Aaliyah uh, from Aaliyah's face using this and I was just like, oh, this, did I see her using it? I feel like it was her. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. Like just the application of it to your face. There's like a ruler. This down here is a ruler that is almost like, you know, that kind of gua sha kind of vibe. Um, so yeah, this is something that is in my wish list just because of the niacinamide and just because of the application to the face. Now, do I need a primer? Probably not. Do I use makeup that often to really warrant me buying a primer? Like, that? probably not. But it's in the wish list. So let's move on. The next thing we have in my wish list is the Topicals Slather Exfoliating Body Serum with retinol and EHAs. Do I love retinol on my skin? Yes, I do. Do I love AHAs on my skin? Well, this is my face I'm talking about. Yes, I do. So when, why wouldn't I want it on my body? To give me a glowy, smooth, soft, supple skin on my body. Like, please, like this is a given. It is $30 and it is, why do I say that like that? $30 and it is five ounce, 150 mils. Um, I don't really know how big that is in the grand scheme of things. It also has squalene in it. Let's read this. So it has squalene in it. Squalene, I've never seen it spelled like that. Powerful antioxidant properties and helps to keep the skin hydrated. We have urea, a superstar ingredient known as a keratolytic agent. Helps to reduce dead buildup, dead skin buildup of flaking or scaling skin. That's nice. Then we have the AHAs, which are galactic and glycolic acids to help exfoliate clogged pores to smooth the skin. And of course, retinol, which um, is a potent yet gentle ingredient. It helps to exfoliate, retexturize, and tone. Like all of these things sound like great things for my body. And I've recently gotten into the habit of like exfoliating more regularly with like my physical exfoliator and moisturizing with my body oil. So like this is just something I feel like, oh, and my glycolic acid wash as well from Naturium. So like this is just something I feel like is continuing along the lines of we need it. Let's read some reviews. Blown away, it's good but it smells bad. Oh, somebody said the Naturium salicylic acid body wash is better. And that's like $25. 
because the one I have I think was $25, $26. So, <laughs> who knows? Anyway, let's move on to the next product in my wish list. And this is the Dior Lip Glue Oil. I have seen almost everybody talk about this product. And while I have at least probably 10 lip glosses in my drawer right now, I might still buy this. Yeah, that's just how it works. So I have mine selected in the color light pink. They have, of course, all these other colors. Oh, the cherry one looks really pretty. Maybe I'll get the cherry one instead. Like, why would I spend $38 on a clear lip oil? I feel, why would I spend $38 on a lip oil? <laughs> but I feel like I might have to change my color from the pink to the cherry because that color is kind of cute. Let's see. So we have the pink up here and then the cherry down here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I've just seen everybody talk about this and it just seems like one of those products just, you know, to buy because everybody's talking about it. Even though. I feel like the hype is um, coming down. I think somebody told me the other day that people are no longer raving like ranting about it um, as they used to. So, I don't know. But I feel like I still want it. Yeah, all the review, well, these three, review, <laughs> these three reviews seem to be pretty good. Not bad. Gentry fried lip gloss. Well, obviously it's $38, like come on. What do you expect? Like you don't need to spend $38 on a lip gloss or a lip oil. Come on, that's not new. Anyway, moving on, uh, what else do we have in here? Ooh, the necessaire. This is the body oil, 100% organic cold press for $40. Now this is expensive. I know that. The necessaire products are expensive, but they are products that have intrigued me. And uh, I want to me this is an investment because I want to use this product as like the finishing touch of a manicure but not necessarily just my manicures or the manicures that I do on other people. Uh, it's part of my luxury skincare situation. So that's really and truly why this is in here but it has, you know, it's a fast absorbing treatment. Uh, rich in antioxidants, vitamins, omega-6, 7, 9 for gluey, dewy, glowy looking skin. And now that I've been getting more into using body oils on my skin, like, it's either going to be used on me or others, like, I don't know, but it's definitely going to be used. And, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, I have 11 things in my, well, I don't think it's 11 purchase things, but I have quite a few things in my cart that would have to come out because the total is still too high for me right now. Right now, it's at $329 without tax, and 20% off of that is still not enough. So, I will be, like, you know, reorganizing and editing my list. But for right now, this is what we have. But I'm pretty sure I am going to be buying that necessary oil. Oh, look, moving on. We have another Topicals product. And this one, between this one and the other one, I feel like I'll just buy one. But I don't know which one. I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which one will win the race. But this one is the High Ruler Ingrown Hair Tonic with a and BHA. And this is to help with ingrown hairs, which I do get a lot of. So I feel like this is definitely more necessary. Like this is more of a need. Although like it's not really a need anyway. But between this and the other Topicals product, this one is more of a need. Like I definitely need to see the benefits of this one. So again, we have lots of acids in here. We have glycolic acid, which is a surface exfoliator. We have salicylic acid, which is a pore exfoliator. We have niacinamide, which helps to brighten the area and decrease the appearance of dark spots. It also supports the skin barrier. And then we have zinc PCA, okay, an anti-inflammatory that helps to reduce redness and reduces excess oil. Okay, cool. How do you use this? Roll onto clean, dry, affected area can be used daily. 
right so i have used the um pfb varnish uh um i'm not too sure if i could tell you that i have seen a thousand percent benefits of using it i've definitely seen it like peel my skin in a good way like like a peel like after a few weeks of using it it's when the skin starts to peel next we have the adore beauty balm and moisturizing shampoo i you this is the mini size because shampoos take a while to finish and i don't feel like i want to pay the price for the big size of the shampoo the normal size because i just don't think it's necessary i've recently used some products from this bought from this brand and i especially use the balm and moisturizing the conditioner oh it's in the bathroom <laughs> I was gonna show you but it's in the bathroom and when I tell you that deep conditioner first of all it has rosemary and mint in it it was just such a lovely cool refreshing feeling sensation on my scalp that was just so very needed and the conditioner itself where you can watch this because I spoke about it go and follow me on Instagram or just go and look up on my Instagram I posted about it there as well as on my TikTok my wash day use any products it was such a good experience so good which is why I want to try the shampoo that's literally the only reason I want to try the shampoo because of how good the conditioner was for me so this is the mini size and again what this is the Bow Mint moisturizing shampoo from Adore Beauty of course moisturizing shampoos are good to have you have to have your clarifying shampoo and your moisturizing shampoo because not all the time you could be clarifying your scalp so benefits it cleanses without stripping the hair it soothes dry itchy scalp and it aids in detangling and promotes shine oh aloe leaf juice okay baobab oil and then of course we have the wintergreen spearmints and peppermint oils i feel like I low-key feel like the rosemary and mint in the deep conditioner was a little bit too much for my scalp. It felt really, really good, but my scalp was a little bit irritated after. Like I, I did feel some itch throughout the week after using it. So I feel like the, this shampoo would be a good enough refresh because it's just in and out as opposed to putting the conditioner in and leaving it in for a while. Less exposure, maybe, who knows, but we'll see and then the last thing in my cart right now is of course a free oh we have two more things sorry so we have the necessaire this is the body ritual which is a pack or like a trial size of a set that's the word i'm looking for a self-care set uh, for the products which you know essentially is me trying out more of the necessaire products this is another item in my list that is definitely coming to me. So in here, we have the necessary body exfoliator, the body wash, the body lotion, and the body serum. So I've been, again, wanting to try the necessary products, but they've just been too expensive in my mind. And I feel like this set is a good trial size of everything. Let me see how big they are. So we have 70 mils, 100 mils, 15 mils and 70 mils so that seems like a fair trial to me let's see if i could find out how much the body serum is because the body serum is really what i want to try like i don't feel like i need to spend lots of money on a body wash like why would i do that i also don't feel like i need to spend lots of money on exfoliator because again why would i do that but you see the body serum i feel like i could spend the money there so let me see how much the big bottle is so the regular size of the necessary body serum is 150 mils and it is 45 dollars so we have 50 mils that's one third we're getting one third of the body serum in a set for the price of the whole serum well i think that's a good buy i think that's a good buy i will definitely be buying this set most definitely and i feel like because this has a body serum in it that might kick out the topicals body serum at least for now but yeah i've been trying to find a good body serum like i don't have any 
and it's something remember I told you already I'm getting into my body care so yeah there's a one there's one or two from a brand I think it's called be fresh which you can get in Target I've also seen it on Amazon because I went looking for it but I haven't bought it so this has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and ceramide in it, which is essentially the three things that CeraVe has in it, the CeraVe cleanser. Anyway, you can see niacinamide, niacinamide, we love niacinamide. Ooh, the body lotion also has niacinamide in it. Oh, hello. Yes, so this is definitely going to be bought. I am buying this. And then the last thing in my kit, in my, my kit, in my cart right now is the Givenchy Lente de Rouge Eau de Parfum. This is the 50ml, which versus the 80ml. This 50ml is 104 dollars. Now, have I smelled this ever? No. But I have smelled the regular Lente de, and that smells really good. It actually reminds me of the My Way from um, Giorgio Armani, which if you've seen any of my vlogs, you know I love that fragrance. I love the original one, but I also truly love the intense version. But I find the Lanterne kind of smells pretty similar, so I didn't really want to buy the original one because, um, like, why would I do that if I already have something that smells like it? So that's why I've been really wanted to try the Lanterne Rouge, but I haven't got the chance to. Even here in Fifth Sensation, they do have this perfume available for sale, but they don't have any testers, so I just have not been able to test it to see if I really like it. So I'm just gonna blind buy it. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> so in this this perfume has it's a warm floral. It has notes of tuberose and jasmine, which I really like in perfumes. Um, it also has pimento leaf and blood orange and ginger and the perfume girlies on tiktok said that you know this is a really nice perfume and it's been on my mind for a long time so i think i'm just gonna blind buy it and hope that all works well because then if it doesn't that'll be really 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 disappointing all right so those are all the things that i have in my cart right now i did have another fragrance in my cart which was the absolutely blooming from Christian Dior however I did have the chance to smell that hair and I really thought I loved it like it had this kind of bubblegum scent to it and then one day I finally decided to spray it on myself in store and I don't really think I liked how it dried down on my skin which is very unfortunate because I really really liked it but you know money saved there so I took that out of my cart and then of course in the cart right now which makes up the rest of the things one two three <laughs> I'm such a joke I have the necessary body serum as a reward the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream moisturizer so moisturizer with hyaluronic acid as a reward which I really hope stays as a reward for the sale because I really do want to try it Charlotte Tilbury is another you know brand that has very high prices and though people do say that this is a really nice moisturizer it also comes with a really nice price and I no like most of my eye creams have always been rewards because eye creams are also expensive but for what reason then we have another moisturizer in here um so those are the three things i already did some editing to my cards like at the bottom here you see the polish choice this kit the summer friday is um sheer skin tint we have some other stuff that were in my cart that I took out and well today is the 25th that I'm recording this video and hopefully it's gonna be up tomorrow the 26th the sale is the 28th so I have three days to edit my cards and I will be finalizing it at least up to the moment before I press checkout and you know who's going to be pressing checkouts who's gonna be waiting up till midnight or one o'clock in the morning because I think by the time it's midnight to come into the 28th day of October it will be like one o'clock in Trinidad I'm gonna be waiting up because I don't want what I want to sell out 
who does that <laughs> i will be waiting up and i will be making my order and well you guys will just have to stay tuned to see what made it into the final selection i will be doing a haul maybe even a haul and trial of everything who knows why would i do actually i have lots of skincare in here so maybe not trial but i will be doing a haul when my things finally get here so if you are taking part in the sephora viv sale or the holiday savings event sorry let me know in the comments please tell me what's in your wish list what's in your cart right now because i do want to know i need ideas i will i already looked at one video like what's um you know our wish list recommendations etc and i probably will be looking at a few others before i don't even know what day the 28th is before the 28th okay that's it for this video thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up again you've already commented because i asked you what you get in the sale make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another one and i'll see you guys in the next video bye